Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to another edition of Drag Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, your host for this evening. And let me shed this cap off my head because it's a little bit high. But yes, all I got to say is welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Drag Sports Live. I got a exciting show for you, you guys. I got new music on the way. And if y'all wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to figure out where my brush is at because I got like an alfalfa going on with my head. All right, there we go. We good. We good. So, yeah. Had a whole alfalfa going, so I was just trying to rectify the situation and fix that. But I'm all good now. But, yes. <laughs> like I said before, welcome. We going to cover... We gonna get into our baseball spiel. We gonna get into our football spiel. We definitely gonna get into our basketball spiel because big things happen. We finally got a blockbuster trade, and we also got some signings. But what better way to start off the day? We gonna start off with some new music. Now, goes you might want to check this young dude out. This guy can blow. He got bars. His name is Black Sam. For those who don't know him, check him out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. And I always got to say it's rock with it. But this song that you about to listen to is named Moses. So let's check it out. Here on Drug Sports Live. And y'all can find me on iHeart, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts as well. Check it out. Yeah. White people less apprehensive when I'm in the mind clear. Something I recently noticed. But 12 to stop me as bogus. Say they had a jealous of feeling their quotas. Front them pull up when the lotus is carrying my coat. Or he puffing, I'm potent. The seat is the lowest I go. I could tell by the slowness. He totally loaded and trying to stay focused. I 55, I swollen. He stepped out the whip. The get niggas rolling. He finished the split from crushing with force on the ground. I think that he trying to be Moses. Caught the lens, tinted with roses. Maybe that's why I'm not tweaking about the thrombosis. Sitting in the passenger feeling real cozy. Then when they hit me, I start on this opus. Mar been serving the crap. Go to my notes, start writing this track. I'm playing the beat on repeat. On the speakers, the bass in the back Compete with the pack, the pace of attack I keep his attack, it really could go from a flurry To calm in a hurry, I'm tired as hell My vision is blurry, me and his threats Like Mitchell and Murray, I cannot fuck with no Michelin stars until I see portions If I throw hundreds on food and I'm not even full at the end That shit is extortion, asking the driver To hit the portillos, there's so many options Need an assortment, send me a beat and I'm torching Probably adding to your fame, adding to my fortune Yeah, slide on a shorty Who thicker than Florida, air in the summer She using my face as a chair, it's a bummer We lean so on Frequently, cause she a stunner, we bump her the bumper. I think she a bomber, cause she keep a couple of them on her chest. In person, they bigger than I would've guessed. The pic she sending me having me stress. I'm surfing a wave, I'm making a crest. Yeah. I'm the black Kelly Slater, new triple S. They came in afraid of so heavy. I steady been leaving these craters. I'm finally peeking the interest of playlist curators and industry folks. Most of them flaky, but some of them dope. I'm grateful I don't gotta lean on them like when a nigga was broke. Cause I'm scared. 
scoring. Nah, bitch, give me a ring. That booty on swole. Got my leg on bling. Lay that ass down, then I fell in her wop. Got it on top, but you heard what's that? Wow, 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 wow. She see it, now we both press it. Come on, bitch, move it like cello. Come on now. <laughs> move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Ah, move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Ah, move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Ah, move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. What? Where the new girl at? Gotta find her. Collect six nine. That's how I dial up. Had that pussy sign a contract. If she had a ball, I wanna have a thunderstorm. Had that pussy wet and slow. Wild to to the beat. Neighbor, that pussy fragile. Knee deep. Slip and slide in your water park. Go real fast if you tryna find a grip. Make this last forever. Bust it open real quick. Promise you won't fall. Under the skirt, she got meals on wheels. Ready for dessert. Drinking on her juices like a speedy and short. I need that vitamin P. Ski ski on her sheets like 40 hours a week. Back at the club when I call. You better pick up staying on my mind. Now I can't give it up. She my seat down. Move, like move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Ah, move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Ah, move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Ah, move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. Move it like cello. What? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dragon Sports Live. And we're back. Back like we left something behind. Back like never before. Just back in general, but it is a Titan show. Welcome. And if, like I said before, you can catch us on Spotify. Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts, we are there. So, let's get right into it. MLB, we've been, we had some shakeup, but what better way to start with, yeah, let's start this that day off right. So, we had a big trade. Well, yeah, I ain't gonna say big trade, we had more people moving away from Chicago like that that 2016 World Series team um people are moving away so like Kyle Schwarber he signs with the Nationals on a one year deal 10 million dollars and he joins his former uh former coach actually he was with the Cubs in 2015 to 2017 Dave Davey Martinez. So we get to rejoin him at the Nationals. But again, so the only thing that's left is what's going to happen to Chris Bryant, Baez, or Rizzo. So far, we have been having teams that's interested in taking, uh, that's interested in Chris Bryant. So we'll see what's going to happen over there. But in other news, you know, on the other side of town, on the south side, see, and people always look at me and say, which side of town you represent? I represent Chicago, so I represent both sides. I was born, I was right, right in the middle, smack dab in the middle. So I come in with half Cubs and half Sox, but on the Sox side, they signed Lamb Hendricks from the F, from the A's. So that's a good pickup for them. That's also a big trade for them. Um Lamb Hendricks is actually a pretty good player to have for the Cubs, especially with a young core that was rookie of the year potential and stuff like that. Lamb Hendricks is a good pickup for the Sox, especially at that position. So that is a good pickup. On top of that, oh, wow, I see blur happening. Oh, there we go. Hi, I'm, I'm straight again, but. We got other things that happen. Um, <laughs> New York Yankees get outfielder Greg Allen from the Padres for lefty James Reeves. And 
uh, Boston Red Sox coach Bianca Smith, who's the first female black woman to coach, uh, wants to be a manager. She wants to be the skipper one day, and she want to be an inspiration to other women, which women taking over. If y'all haven't realized, women is taking over. I don't mind it. I like seeing women in position like that. So I don't mind that at all. I truly don't mind that, but you know, it is what it is. Definitely what it is. I'm excited for this season. I'm excited because these Padres has actually been very active during this uh this this off season. But not only that, the Nets have been active. They get Francisco Linder, who. That that was the first big major signing of this offseason thus far. Well, Lamb Hendricks and then Francisco Linder for the Mets. But that was the first biggest trade. That was the biggest trade of the Steve Cohen era since he took over and bought the team. So big ups to him on that. Continue to make y'all moves. Hopefully the Chicago baseball teams continue to get better and to continue to strive and not be on this reset. And hopefully the Cubs team looks still looks to be pretty good. Hopefully all these prospects we get are pretty good. It's another thing. Just got to be hopeful. Ain't nothing to do it but be hopeful, guys. Ain't nothing to do it at all. Just got to be hopeful. So it is what it is. I just want them to be better. Um... Anyways, before I started ranting about random stuff, how's everybody's doing? If y'all feeling good, drop a comment inside the box if you're on Facebook Live. And then if you're not on Facebook Live, you can always catch Dragon Sports Live on YouTube at D-O-N-P-E-1. That's where you can catch Dragon Sports Live at. So join me there. I'll be there. Subscribe. Hit the bell. And if you don't have neither, none of those, check us out on Spotify, iHeart, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast. Just type in Dragon Sports Live. I'll pop right up. I try to make it easier for you guys as well as easy on myself. So when I listen back to my own show, I can easily go right into it. But yeah, check it out. Um, we did have... Bias, not Javi Bias, but Pedro Bias reached a two year deal with the Houston Astros. So he was originally a Dodger, now he's a Astro. Welcome, let's see what you can do. It's a lot of pitchers been getting, like I said last week, a lot of pitchers been getting one or two year deals, and maybe um, here and there. So it's like, okay. It is what it is. Sorry, my uh, computer was freezing up on me, guys. But I figured out the situation. It's called just close out some things that you don't need open. Especially when you got a laptop, two iPads, and a phone. You can pull up those other things on that phone, which is what I'm doing right now. So, yeah. Y'all know what it is. Now here, here, here's also another. We we also get uh, general managers, well, CEOs getting extension. So Mark Shapiro, he gets a five year extension as the Toronto Blue Jays CEO. Congrats to him on that. As well as more moves, more power. And let's see what happens when the season starts down later down the line. And Detroit Tigers and Fulmer avoids arbitration with a deal, $3.1 million deal. So a lot of play, a lot of teams trying to avoid arbitration because that gives that player opportunity to basically go to court for a new contract, basically. And try to um, 
get more money or if they feel the contract is too much or too big, you know, that arbitration is, is the best way to go. So, yep. And then Corey, pitcher Corey hosts the ball pin session. He shows he's healthy after he, after two lost seasons. Because he had a, what is it, Tommy Jones surgery? Right? And then a strain. So he, he just proves that he can still do his thing after he lost two seasons. And... You know, you got to get better. You got to better yourself. You got to do it with flair. So, and that's the best way to do it. Work your way, work hard, and never give up. Keep striving for your goals. Keep going till you succeed. And, yeah. But, yeah. Now, I do got a lot more music for you guys here on Dragon Sports Live. Um, so, let's take a quick break because I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to brush my head some more. And, yeah. We're going to relax. We're going to give y'all some more music here on, on Dragon Sports Live. So, without further ado... Why don't y'all check out the young man named Cole Beasley here on Dragon Sports Live. Yes, the football player. I said it, Cole Beasley. Oh, yeah. Say hello to Mr. Slept On. Early mornings, I ain't slept long. Big headed, so I'm headstrong. Had to be just to be headed to where I was going like my head gone. He said I'm crazy, but I told him all that it's no biggie, but you're dead wrong. I'm the wrong one to be swept off up under the rug. Patience of a wondrous slug to come from the mud and get y'all up off me. Flowing circles round them like drawstrings. Overheads get moss reach. For the stars, I was taught dream. Never stop, eat, wreak havoc like have a all deep. You ain't talking money, then you've lost me. I'm saving all it for my offspring. Can't snatch a necklace up off me, cause I don't have one. Spent that on college funds for both my sons, but it's four accounts accounting for another two that's yet to come. Yes, I have enough, they can have some. Competition, yeah, I have to. When you don't look the part, yeah, you have to. When you do, opportunity stack. Up, like the odds against me, I just have one opportune moment, but that's all I need. Cause I own it, seize it like I see. So cold like ICs, and I'm just chilling like IVs. I don't have to try, come and try me. This is effortless, like when eyes blink, smooth like ice rinks, and I ain't reached my peak. Just a chance to be a rapper, and the future is what I'll be. Labels all gonna wanna sign me. Cold Nation Records first sign me. Independent labeled owned by me. So I'm taking like I'm Leem, Neeson's daughter. But by me, I'm bossed out But Sunday, Jerry's boss now When I ball out, I'm a dog When dad get the ball out Put a sauce out, put a sauce on him That's too much Good wife, that's too clutch Without a backbone, you can't do much Making moves like food trucks Getting to the bread till it's chewed up And my bank accounts look juiced up Who knew, huh? White dude rapping too tough While I sued up, white and glued up Silver shoes stuck, get loose touch Now got all of the crowd Reaching on down, cleaning they shoes up Man, and back when I remember them telling me to end this Vision it, mama do love. Now they telling me that athletes that's rapping can't do much. Gotta go harder, it's too much. All cause of stigma. I reply with this first enigma. Gotta listen back just to learn the picture. My first description, take the earth to spin before the verse can hit them. I'm the first with skin of what's against what's in of us rap elites. But actually, it only took one to revert the system. Get them. Look at how I curve the rhythm. Just squirting venom like a nervous cobra with no when you know if that's working with them. Still, I blow up fast. No, I'm worth it when my curse have written red and then bird is sitting them with neurotransmitters in my nervous system. Flip your system, resuscitate it. Moves like food trucks, getting to the bread till it's chewed up, and my bank accounts look juiced up. Making moves like food trucks, getting to the bread till it's chewed up, and my bank accounts look juiced up. Making moves like food trucks, getting to the bread till it's chewed up, and my bank accounts look juiced up. Making moves like food trucks, getting to the bread till it's chewed up, and my bank accounts look juiced up. Okay, a little bit hard to try to control that. 
at the same time, try to time it right. I was trying to be on, be all fancy and do something extra with it, but it didn't just work out right. So I'm sorry. Try to be a little fancy, but ladies and gentlemen, that was Cole Beasley, the football player. Y'all hear him. But, and, and that's a, actually a good set, because if you just tune in, this is Dragon Sports Live, and I'm Dante Payne, and you just tune in right into the, the best part of the season, what's going on. Um, NFL. We're in our playoffs. We just had the we they what we like I'm playing, but they just finished up the wild card weekend, so now we on to the divisional rounds, which uh, we got some pretty interesting matchups. Um but before I get into all that matchup, how about we give y'all some news of what's going on around the NFL? And let's start out by saying the Giants, the New York Giants, are planning on keeping David Gettleman. They have given him a, a nice ascension. So they're p- keeping Gettleman around. Nice. On top of that, we had a couple coordinators. Um, Dolphins offensive coordinator Chan Galley resigns. And... It was either you resign or you got fired. And I felt like you was about to get fired. Just It was just a hunch. I felt like you was about to be on your way out. So the simple fact that you just resigned is because, honestly, in my opinion, the offense was looking good towards the latter part of the season, but then it kind of just trickled down and down and down. To the point where you had to bench Tua to bring Fitz Magic in, and then you was without Fitz Magic, so you couldn't bring in, so you keep Tua in a whole entire time. So it just was like, oh boy, with that. But anyways, so that that was that. That was what what was happening with that. Um, on top of that. The future is not looking so bright for Tua there. He may be traded, and he may not. But we shall see come the offseason, you know, come doomsday or whatever you call it. We shall see what's going on there. We should see, you know, we should just see what's going on. We'll see what happens. Oop. I jumped down too far. Hold on. Up. Oh. And then, you know, we had Katie uh, Soares, first female coach to coach and will not return. Because, yeah, she was first coach to coach in the Super Bowl. Yeah, she will not return with the 49ers. And she was on the same side because I didn't know they had Wells Welker, who used to play for the Patriots as they wide receivers coach. So she was helping out the wide receiver coaches, but she will not return but she hopes going forward that other women will step up and go in. And that does not mean that her dream is over with. It just means she's just stepping away from that particular team. So she may get another job, but she hopes to be a head coach. So, you know, everybody has aspirations and dreams. And the best way to do is follow your dreams. Don't let your dreams chase you. Chase your dreams. So if you can I know some circumstances you can't really do that, but chase your dreams the best way you can. Uh, I see random symbols on symbols on my uh, iPad, so it's just like weird. But moving on. Now let's go to Philly, the city of. Uh, brotherly love. So, major shakeup there. So, not only is the offensive coordinator gone, the defensive coordinator gone, but Doug Peterson is gone as well. He basically fired everybody else, hoping that that was going to change and change the way that the owners feel. Had a meeting with them, and they let him go too. So, he literally let go... Senior offensive assistant Rich Scalarello, senior offensive consultant Marty 
Morinwig and defensive coordinator Jim Sports let them all go. They parted ways. But on top of that, the owner parted ways with him. Um, they also let go Mike Gra and receivers coach Carson Welch. So they're all gone. That that only people that I think are still there is the special teams coach and the tight ends coach and linebackers coach. But as far as defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator, and head coach, gone. And it was just a sad, a sad end with to that season. Like I figured he was gonna be gone after, especially in that last game where you bench Jalen Hurts to bring in Nick Soulfield into the game. Now brother did play, but Jalen Hurts was your best option. He may not have been passing it all of that great, but he damn sure was uh running the ball great and. He was moving the ball little by little, but he still was keeping them in the game. The game got out of hand when y'all brought Nick Schofield in there. Hence why you got the matchups that we got today. So, I ain't, I, I didn't like that move. A lot of people didn't like that move. They were saying you should have kept Hurts in the, in the game. But it is what it is. It happened. So, you just got to deal with it. You just got to... <laughs> Suck it up. You probably will get hired somewhere else. Maybe not as a head coach, but maybe as a, a coordinator or a consultant or whatever. But you will get hired again. So it ain't the end of the world for you, Doug Peterson. But now I really want to know what, what's going to happen in that QB room over there in Philly. Where is it? Is y'all going to trade Wentz? Are y'all going to drop another quarterback? Or are y'all going to let Hurst stay being the starter? Now that's the question is that We'll have to figure out, and we won't know until the offseason, guys. So I'll have insights on that when that gets closer. You dig. All right, you dig. Okay. But, (laughs) yeah, that was that. (laughs) And former Washington football team, WFT, Dwayne Haskins visit the Carolina Panthers. He's still, even though he's like, oh, he's still got a young career ahead of him, and he may be able to pick up the change. But you got to be serious. You got to give us like how you was when you was in college. We need that mentality. We need that back. You threw 50 touchdowns in, in college, so you, you need to have that mentality, but you need to amplify times two. You need to work hard. And that would be my advice to you on that. That's all I got to say on that. Mm. Cowboys defensive role led to Mike Nolan being fired and Jim Tomasula being let go as well. But because of that let go, they also, they're going to bring in former Falcons quarterback who was fired at the beginning of the season, uh, Dan Quinn. They're going to bring him over. And hopefully he can fix the defense. He was a good defensive coach. He has experience, but long, just don't bring the curse with you. No offense to you. Don't bring that curse with you to to the Cowboys. They don't play that. So, that's that. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry, I was looking at the NBA game and that score is a hundred to two to eighty six with the Brooklyn Nets. Talk more about them in a second when we get down to our NBA. But yes, we did have some good news for. Well, yeah, I guess it's good news for Chicago Bears. I actually like them, but the Bears will retain Mac Nagy and Ryan Pace for the twenty one seasons, but they did not get contract extensions. But they will retain them for the 21 season. But no contract extensions is more like we'll see what this season goes. But when the when the owners and the owner's children pop up and talk about we need to fix our quarterback room, they're not going to bring back Trubisky this year. So he will be a free agent. At, he He's now a free agent. Or whenever the, the league year comes around again, he's a free agent. Um on top of that, 
Chuck Pagano is retiring after 19 years in the league or 19 seasons, however you want to say it. He was, he was the defensive coordinator for the two seeds, past two seeds for the Bears, and then former head coach for the Indianapolis Colts. So he announced his retirement, which means our defensive coordinator position is now open. Hopefully we find someone that's um, that's going to bring that Monsters of Midway back. So, you know, stick to our Bears roots in defense, and then hopefully we get better – on offense, get a better offensive line so we can protect our quarterback better and then actually get a quarterback. So far as quarterbacks, Nick Foles is the only one that's on contract, so he might be the starter next year. But we shall see. But it depends on if he can get his game right. Like, to me, Nick Foles, and I've been saying this before, that Nick Foles is one of those quarterbacks that you bring in mid-game and just bring him in at halftime and let him go to work that way. He's not a quarterback that can start the whole game, at least in my opinion. It's always been he come in, he came and saved, been Captain America and saving people and stuff like that, or whatever superhero you want him to be. But, yeah, not not to start the whole game. So let's see what they do with that. And then we had – so if y'all was looking – at the wild card weekend, it was a very wild weekend. It was some close games, and it was some tough games. I'm going to start about talking about the uh, Titans and Ravens, which was a rematch of last year's playoff matchup. So last year, the Titans won. This year, the Ravens won. But on top of that, Lamar Jackson gets his first playoff win in a close win that was 20-13, to and they literally run the ball pretty much down the throats, a couple pass plays, but – the Ravens defense prevailed and held uh, Henry under, I think, uh, under 100 yards. Whew. Yeah, under 100 yards rushing. So that was, you know, that was good for them. And like I said, first win for Lamar Jackson. First playoff win. Not, I, I mean, Let me rephrase that. First playoff win for Lamar Jackson. But their next game, they had got snow out there um i'll give you the guys the matchups because i kind of forget who who was going what because there was so many different scenarios like if this team win they go against this team if that team win they go against this team so it's just like i didn't really know what to do or how to go about doing that so we'll give you i'll give you those scenarios and those matchups coming up this week because that is this weekend for wild card if you game, watch the game. Because I'm really going to be watching. I'm going to be watching the game myself. So, if you game, watch the game. But, yeah, we have a lot of key. A lot of key matchups. So, that was that. That, that was first win for Lamar. The Browns beat the Steelers. 48 to 37 and the Browns basically had to steal his number from the start of the game. When you fumbled the ball on the first snap, you knew the Browns had it, but this is their first playoff win since 1994. So that's good for the Browns as well. And That was like I said. That was their first win. Tampa Bay gets their first win since two thousand two, and they also get back Devin White, who is a big part of their defense, and Steve McClendon back from the COVID list. So, and like I said, the matchups this week is a little bit crazy. So, we got at the Rams against Green Bay. Some people were picking the Rams to win, but I think I'm picking Green Bay to win because. Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, and Aaron Jones and Lazard. Just to name a few of the people that Aaron Rodgers likes to go to. It should be a pretty good game, especially because the Rams are pretty much bang, are pretty banged up. And Green Bay is going to be at home where I think they probably got snow as well. I'll check that forecast. I will tweet about it. 
on my social media. And if you're not following me on social media, follow me at Dragon Jump Pro on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And then check out our YouTube and subscribe and hit the bell so you can get all of our notifications. That's www.youtube.com slash D-O-N-P-E-1. Or you can just type in D-O-N-P-E-1 on the YouTube search. And then check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts. And that's the best way to say that. Um, on and another note, Broncos reached a deal with. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I got his name right. So excuse me, bear with me for <laughs> one second. But Elway is basically going to be the president of operation and personnel, but they are hiring uh, Minnesota Vikings George. Patton to be general manager, which who will report to Elway. So they're hiring a, a GM because Elway was doing both. So now they have a GM and then Elway would stick to doing just the the CEO and, and president stuff or the high, the high executive stuff. But whoo, they are doing that. And then we got so Baltimore versus Buffalo, which is going to be a, also a good game. These are your Saturday games. So the Rams and Green Bay is your first game. Then the second game, the late night game, is Buffalo and Baltimore, which I think would be pretty good games. On the plus side, I think it's going to be a good game for Josh Allen and also Depend, it would really depend on the weather. It may be one of those snowy games like that Patriots game a few years back or that Giants game a few years back where nobody can get the ball or it was just a lot of running. So, And it's Lamar Jackson's first time in the snow in the, like elements like that. So he never really had that, got a chance to deal with that, but now he gets to deal with that. So we shall see. We shall see. Now, for Sunday matchups, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the New Orleans Saints. Old head versus old head. Drew Brees versus Tom Brady. And the first two times, the Saints wiped the floor with them. Well, I should say the Saints barely won that first game. Second game, wiped the floor with them. Let's see how this time around, especially when you got playoff time or – and playoff breeze. So let's see how this this turn around. Then we also got Cleveland, Kansas City. Most definitely, people going to be riding with Kansas City in that. But some people are going to take the underdogs because the Browns are hungry, and it'll be weird. But we got teams other than the Patriots in this year, and it shows that Tom Brady <laughs> is the one. Who got out that team? Like, basically, Bill Check's not in the playoffs, but Tom Brady is. A lot of people gonna look at that a certain way, but you know, it is what it is. And that you know, let's check it out. But I'm riding with the Saints in that game, and then the Chiefs in the Browns game. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Buffalo in the Ravens game and Green Bay in the Rams game. So those are my picks. Y'all can hit me up on Instagram, social media, Facebook, Twitter, and let me know what y'all think, what it is. I will try my best to respond to those. Most definitely in all fronts of life and everything that we do. So, Check it out. Now, I'm going to give y'all a little bit more music because it's a little bit hot in here. And when you sit next to a projector, you got to kind of step away from that projector. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we we also got the latest single from Lamar Creation as well coming up too. And that's actually coming up now here on Dragon Sports Live. So check it out. Lamar Creation featuring Aaron Gunn. And it's called Flexing. So I want y'all to check it out. Go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and check them out. It's just me and my crew Flexing on my exes Do what we do Yeah Flexing on my exes Feel the tension in the room Flex on me, I flex on you When I see you, baby, that's what I Brain while on the jet, no cap, I ain't gotta flex. I ain't never entertaining you, bitch. I mess up, I still blame you. You gone now, you gone now. Bet you missed the night you had on the phone now. Bet you missed the night you smell my cologne now. Wishing you could see the shit that I'm on now. On my MJ 1991, you can't even dust this. On my MC Hammer 1990, ho, you can't even touch this. Fuck your little ass in the back of the car, send that ass back to the bar. Oh shit, that was a bar. I'm on this bitch with Lamar, tone this shit up, it go hard. I'm not trying to waste my energy. I'm not trying to waste no energy. So don't be stalking at my VIP. Stalking, stalking, stalking. I've been drinking too much Hennessy. I've been drinking too much Hennessy. So I can't get no ho, no empathy. It's just me and my crew. It's just me and my crew. Flexing on my exes. Yeah, you know that's what we do. Do what we do. You blocking me, I block you too. Flexing on my ex. You flex on me, I flex on you. Feel the tension in the room. Flex on me, I flex on you. When I see you, baby, that's what I do. I got no love for that hoe. I got love for her friend. Yeah, yeah baby, I yeah. do. She get to twerking, jerking, her body perfect. I love that ass. When she bounce it up and down, goddamn, I think I love her. But not when you did it though. Found out that you been a hoe. You was supposed to be wifey though. Goddamn, you're bad. How you do a nigga like that? So many times, so many times. Try. So sick and tired of feeding your lies. I cannot even say that I'm surprised. From the beginning, but reading the signs. Couple bad bitches on my side. Yeah. Gang, gang, you know it's a vibe. Yeah. I could kill if she feeling inside. We gon' turn up to the morning and ride. No, it's always bitches on my line. Yeah. Kinda good today. Uh, 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 uh. Let me talk to you for a minute. No? That's why I'm flexing on you and your nigga, it's bitch. It's just me and my crew. It's, it's just, just me and my crew. crew. Yeah. Flexing on my ex. Yeah, you know that's, that's what, what we do. do. Do what we do. You blocking me, I block you too. Flexing on my ex. You flex on me, I flex on you. Feel the tension in the room. Flex on me, I flex on you. It's 
song on the floor. Oh, yes, I want it. Gotta have it. Do you need it? What's it to you? You're a hot mess. Baby, what you gonna do? Fear it did suffice And I play the games you play And you just go along Oh, get down in the skin tight dress While they play your favorite song Guess oh. I want it, gotta have it Augustus, which <laughs> it's a lot of good segue. Not even trying to do that, it just happened. You know, it it just happens that way. Like <laughs> I'm just playing the music, and it just happens that way. And yeah, won't even try to do that at all. <laughs> just so happened I planned it out that way. I just hit play, and that was the song was there. But anyways, it is a hot mess, especially in Houston. Houston has a big hot mess. Well. They got rid of a hot mess because in a four-team trade, and it was the first blockbuster trade of the season, um, Houston Rocket trades James Harden to the Brooklyn Nets. And like I said, it was a four-team mega deal because they weren't going to – the only way you was going to get that trade to happen if you had help and try to get that trade to happen at the beginning of the season didn't work. So the only way for that trade was to happen was – at the beginning of the season. Ooh, my face is shiny. Woohoo, okay. Don't mind the shine, but it's all good. But yes. That, they need the help to get that, so. This trade. So basically, the Nets sent Houston. Carlos LeVert, who they originally uh, was then traded to the Pacers for Victor or Lipo. Who? So now you're gonna have John Wall or Lipo, Cousins, 
Um, Mac, wait, Covington? Yeah, Covington. And I'll look at that starting lineup. I'll let y'all know what that, what, what that pencil starting lineup would be like. But then you, you also get, uh, center Jerry Allen and Tareem Prince headed to the Cavs. Why don't the Rockets receive guard Dante Exum and uh Kukuts. Rodon's Kukuts. The Brooklyn Fort. On top of that, Houston receives three uh, receives Brooklyn's three unprotected first round picks. Draft pick in the deal. So that's the 22, 24, and 26. Plus, pick swaps in 21, 23, 25, and 27. The Rockets also got Cleveland's 22 first-round pick via the Milwaukee Bucks. And Houston is sending a 2023 second-round pick to the Pacers. And then Brooklyn also gets a 24 second-round pick. From the Cavaliers, the Nets have opened up three roster spots to fill out their bench. So if they choose a five point seven million tax mid level, the minimum session and likely a five point seven disabled player session. This deal reunite re- Reunites Harden with former Oklahoma City Thunder teammate Kevin Durant, who, by the way, is playing right now against the New York Knicks. Knicks, not Knicks. New York Knicks. And they're actually, that game is now over with. That game ends 116 to 109 in that game. But you also have Kevin uh, Kyrie Irving, who that's another mess. So you get basically two messes in Brooklyn now. But now, since that trade happens, depending on whenever Kyrie returns, they are got the Nets as a potential contender. Then because you get another player, a good player, doesn't necessarily mean you're a contender. It also means – but let's see if he play defense more. I can give you that. He can shoot. He can dribble. He can play ball. But you need a little bit more defense out of you. Not no behind the back. Still, I mean, in your face defense. Don't, if you get rocked or if you get left behind, don't give up on the play. Unless it's like, it's, um, you know, untainable. So, kind of want to see what that what that lineup is looking like now ever since that trade. And they may have not updated yet, but let's check that out because, like I said, that was a blockbuster trade, four-team trade. Because I feel like in order for that trade to happen from the get-go, the league would have um, denied it like they did a couple years ago. So, yeah, we look at – so their potential starting lineup for the Nets, Kyrie Irving, who's out for personal reason, and maybe out longer. James Harden, as a shooting guard, Joe Harris, as small four, and then Kevin Durant, as the five. I mean, as the four, and DeAndre Jordan as the four. Ah, uh, that's actually a pretty decent lineup, not because you got all shooters except the exception of Jordan, but you can always swap in Jeff Green for that and put him in, then you can have a shooting squad. So that's – I can see that happening. That That's the squad I, I call that. If y'all see it, I called it first. You, you hear me. Dante called it first on Dragon Sports Live. So if y'all see that, but with, with that trade happening, uh, we're going to go to the other side. We're going to go to the Rocket side. Cousins called it that disrespectful. John Wall not liking it. And it was like, yeah. 
and this is just after the game. Clippers got obliterated. This is after they got destroyed by the Lakers, by the way, too. With LeBron hitting threes in people's face and then turn around looking at his teammates. So this is happening in that. But the potential starting for Houston Rockets after the trade, it'll be John Wall, Victor Olipo, Daniel House, P.J. Tucker, Christian Wood. And then Cousins coming off the bench. As well as Eric Gordon. And P.J. Tucker. Well, wait, P.J. Tucker in the starting lineup. So that's 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 what's going on with that ordeal. With that joint. And then we had three games postponed due to COVID. The hot the Hawks and Suns was one of those games. Um Washington Detroit game was uh the poem postponed. So, like, yeah, a couple postponements. It, it, it's happening. It's going to happen a lot during the season, especially during what we're playing to with these s- tough, ridiculous times. Um, we did have fellow Kapoor Zing is back. And he's actually going to make his debut tonight. This Wednesday. And he will start. Be on an un, uh, undisclosed amount of minutes. Minute restriction. He returns from October 1st to address a lateral meniscus injury that he had. So he, w- he will suit up. And. What interesting matchups that we had this past week was the ball versus ball. Who was the better ball? And looking at the game, I clearly see that LaMelo is the better baller. He was passing the ball. He was bad. He finished that game with 12 points. And then capped out the next night, he get, ended up getting a triple-double, becoming the youngest person to get a triple-double at age 19. So he was making history then. He he was in the worst. He was doing what he do. But he lived up to his potential showing why I think he's the better ball. I don't want to finish up with five points, but he's definitely a better passer than his brother. And I can see that just from watching that game. Maybe because it was like brotherly love, but no, nah, he, LaMelo is actually the better ball. His shot was more consistent, more fluent. So, I give he's the better brother. Even though we have Gordon Hayward putting up career numbers, career highs, 44 points is his career high this season. In playing for Charlie, it's good to see him doing that. Like I said, he left with no hard feelings towards the Celtics. Um, He just wanted to change, and he got that. And Charlie originally won Gordon Hayward, so he got a nice little lineup thing like Jordan and his coaching staff got a nice little thing going with the lineup that they got moving going forward. Um, Eagles Iron Man streak came to an end. He, he basically played three hundred eighty four games without miss, like basically without missing a game. So that that streak ended, but that just shows how strong of a man he is and how. He is. Now, Matt, we did have some key injuries. Uh, Magic lose Markellis, folks. He's done for the season with a torn ACL. And if you guys seen the video, I was like, Ugh. Cause I seen his knee like buckle, and I seen when he tore it, he just went down. That's why I was like, oh. Um. Hawks Bobon, but. Bodanovic, he suffers a fracture right knee. And, yeah. And then what's going on with our Chicago Bulls? Like, I understand that we're still trying to find the right rotations, the our rotation, and we're still getting used to a new coaching staff. But 
so far. They're four and seven, and they're not bad. But you got Zach Levine putting up great numbers, and Cody White. Cody White stepping up, twenty three points a game. Zach Levine with twenty eight. So the duel's looking good. We'll have Martha and a couple other people back from injury soon. But I'm it's a it's a long season, and I give the Bulls props because they're actually improving. They're looking better each game that I watch, especially when you lost a close one to both L.A. teams, both the Lakers and Clippers, you lost by a possession. So I give y'all props and that they y'all continue to grow, continue to get better, show us, and hopefully we'll get – Maybe we can make a trade and get somebody to bring somebody here, but continue to show us. The Canada Sun extends Kurt Miller coaching GM to another four years. And that's pretty much what I have for you guys today. Tune with us next week as you, you know, listen to Drug Sports Live. Now, this is a show that gives you music. We give you some sports news. We'll give you some commentary. The partner in crime will be back next week. She was just tired, so she had to take a break. She on vacation. Re- let her look relax. But, you know, tune into Dragon Sports Live next week. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a good show. It's going to let y'all know what's going on with these divisional playoff games and more news that we figure out as we go. So, rock with us. And like I said, I will catch you guys next week on Dragon Sports Live when I just realized that my main screen wasn't on the whole entire time. But yes, tune with us next week as we rock with Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, and I'm signing off for the day. But make sure y'all check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts from. All right, you did.